As we've covered throughout all of our shows today, the Battle of I-25 men's basketball series will not be happening this year after a deadly shooting involving a University of New Mexico student and New Mexico State men's basketball player Mike Peak. The December 11th women's basketball game in Albuquerque is still scheduled for now. Now, University of New Mexico Athletic Director Eddie Nunez made the announcement that the November 19th game that was initially postponed because of Saturday's shooting will not be made up. The December 3rd game that was supposed to be played in Las Cruces has been canceled altogether. The cancellation were agreed upon by both schools as an abundance of caution. And communicating again also with New Mexico State Athletic Director Mario Mocha, he also supported the, the concern about playing the game down at NMSU and being able to provide the necessary support for our student athletes, coaches, and fans. So um, in going through all this, it was, a, it was making sure that can we do it, can we do it right, um, but also is the time right. There, there's still too many things going on right now, and I want to make sure that we put everything in consideration. New Mexico State still has not commented on these cancellations, but a press conference is scheduled on Zoom for Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. with NMSU Chancellor Dan Arbisu, Athletic Director Mario Mocha, and Dean of Students and Goodman. The Aggies are still slated to play in a tournament in Las Vegas starting Friday. We told you previously that this all stemmed from a fight at the UNM NMSU football game in Las Cruces on October 15th involving Mike Peake, the deceased Brandon Travis, and others. Now, just into our newsroom tonight is the potential involvement of multiple UTEP student athletes in that altercation. KTSM is not naming those athletes at this time because frankly it's very difficult to identify them in the video but we did reach out to UTEP for comment regarding this alleged involvement in a statement UTEP said quote university officials are currently reviewing the alleged involvement of UTEP students in the October 15th incident at Aggie Memorial Stadium in accordance with university policy we are unable to discuss matters concerning specific students end quote this story has had many twists and turns we'll continue to keep you updated on it